All right, everybody, this is Andrew Kraft. We do have some breaking news that we want to get to at the moment. We're learning that the House does have the votes to remove Representative Green from her committee rules. You can see there something that I've been watching for to see how many Republicans will vote in favor of this to agree to the resolution. There you can see 11. 11 House Republicans have joined their colleagues on the other side of the aisle, the House Democrats, to vote to remove Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene from serving on any committees in the House. I just outlined for you what does it mean to serve on committees, what kind of power do you wield when you serve on committees, writing legislation, amending legislation, getting legislation out of the committee to be voted on the floor of the House. This advantage of being elected will now be stripped for Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. The last time this was done, for those of you who are politicos who follow this very closely, was with uh, former Congressman Steve King, the Republican from Iowa back in 2018. You'll remember he had many incendiary comments and suffered the same fate. He was stripped of his committee assignments as well. He ran again for re-election in 2020 and lost. So the voters served him another loss there as well. Remember, Marjorie Taylor Greene, like I've been saying, was just elected back in the 2020 election. She was just sworn in January the 3rd. She has a full two-year term. This is happening right at the beginning of it, though. Not a good sign for her and the future of her two-year congressional term. At the moment right now, I do want to figure out who these 11 Republicans are. I find that to be interesting, and we want to bring that to you here. And like I said, we wanted to figure out which Republicans did vote in favor of this. Only 11 of them did, including Congressman Adam Kinzinger, the Republican from Illinois, Representative Brian Fitzpatrick, Republican from the 1st Congressional District in Pennsylvania, also Representative John Kotko as well. Interesting to see the alignment of who voted in favor of this resolution who also voted in favor of President Trump's, former President Trump's impeachment. Drawing parallels there as well. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Wyoming seek recognition? Madam Speaker, by direction of the House Republican Conference, I send to the desk a privileged resolution and ask for its immediate consideration. House Resolution 95. It is read. Without objection, the resolution is agreed to and the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.
The House will now be in order. The chair will now entertain requests for one-minute speeches. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Florida seek recognition?